Hello coaches, my name is Steven Evans and in this very brief episode we're going to be going through how you can add your assistant coaches to your team to ultimately share all of your drills and your practice plans with them. So this is specific case is going to be set up for if you've been added to an association set up as the head coach you want to be able to share your information with your assistant coaches. In a previous episode we went through on how you can create your team individually if you're not a part of an association but this specifically is going to be if you're a part of association and you want to add your assistant coaches to your team. So just to show you my display right now, of course I am on the drills page. Under this team folder right here, I'm going to see my PB team. So this is the team that I've been added to under my association, and this is the team that I want to add my assistant coaches to as well. So under this team, of course, I want to start with my peewees. If I want to be able to manage anything with my team, anything under coach them, that's all going to happen under my account settings. So I'm going to go click on my account. Right away, you're going to see that picture of yourself. You're going to see your information all here. Of course, that's a great thing to look at, but what you want to focus in on is under the association. So I'm looking under the association, and the association I've been added to is the coach them association too. So under this association, of course, I see myself as a coach of the Pee Wee hockey team. My email address is there. My contact information is there. This is what's set up by default by my manager of the association. If I'm going to add people to it, I can have up to four coaches under my team, which is really great. So you can have yourself as the head coach. You can add in two assistant coaches, have one account that floats around. Or if you have three people constantly helping out, you can add all three of them to your association. So I'm going to show you how it's going to work. If I want to add Mike Weaver, well, add Mike as being one of my assistant coaches. I'm going to type in his name, Mike at coachthem.com. Of course, you see Mike Weaver right there. I'm going to click that. If he's not a part of Coach Them already, of course, Mike is being the co-founder of Coach Them. If he's not a part of Coach Them, what all you have to do is invite them to join the platform. Once you've invited them to join the platform, you're going to add them to the respective team. So we're going to add it to the AAA Peewee team that I am a coach of. Of course, Mike Weaver, AAA and Peewee. Click Add Coach. And automatically, easy as that, he's been added to my team. So again, his contact information is there. Right now, he is in yellow, meaning that no notifications have been sent out to him. If I am perfectly happy with my, my setup, I don't need to make any changes. All I have to do here is I click Update. Once I click update, it's going to notify Mike via email that he's been added to the team. And right there, right away, it's in green. If he hasn't joined Coach Them yet, it would be completely in red. And you're going to see that reinvite symbol there. And that's going to, if you click that again, it's going to reinvite them to join the platform and to join your team as well. So Mike, we've got an email right now that he's been invited to my team. We can already start contributing to our team's database of drills and with plans. So if I wanted to share anything with Mike, share anything within that Pee Wee team, it's extremely easy. It's exactly what I went through before in regards to sharing. So on the drills page on the right hand side, under your drills panel, if I wanted to share one of my personal drills, I know we did the best drill ever previously, I can click on that and I can just click share, go to my team, I type in the Pee Wee team, click share and automatically it's going to be shared with Mike and in the other assistant coaches that are added. So that's how I'm going to share my drills. Of course, plans is going to be very similar. I'm going to go into my plans. And on November 1st, we did the webinar that we created our own practice plan. So I can go into my personal folder just on the left-hand side, go to November, November 1st practice, load up my plan, automatically click share. This way, I can share it with my assistant coaches before practice starts. Everyone will be on the same page when we get to the arena and ready to hit the ice. So again, I just type in my Pee Wee team there, click share, and then automatically it's been sent out to an email notifying him that that practice plan has been shared with him. And that's it. It's as easy as that. It's a couple clicks to add coaches to your team, a couple more clicks to actually send it out via drills and your practice plans. But ultimately, it's an extremely easy way to get everyone on the same page and ready for the upcoming practice. So that's going to be it for this episode. Again, my name is Stephen Evans. And I hope you can implement what you learned today into your next practice and make that practice your best yet. We'll see you next time. Take care.